I am here to talk a little bit about the bike mapping that I have done with my students um, for our campus, university campus and, um, and small town. Um, just a little background about me. So um, I'm a geographer and professor at University of Wisconsin Stout. And I largely teach GIS classes um, at Stout. And um, Stout is a small campus, less than 10,000 students in the town of Menominee. So that's what you're seeing here is the town. Um, and there's some challenges. Um, I'm the only GIS instructor. And um, the campus has no GIS data. So they, they all their um, spatial data is stored in uh, AutoCAD uh, or Revit. And um, they are not really interested in sharing or working with students with any of that or learning any uh, other geospatial technologies. Um, and uh, one of the things I've been doing a lot of is working with the Campus Sustainability Office, um, which they work with students on sustainability issues like biking and walking. Um, and so they're really, the Sustainability Office is super interested in creating uh, maps and uh, related to various sustainability topics. And so um, so a few years ago, I basically started um, thinking that OpenStreetMap might be a really great way to um, get students involved with mapping our campus and community, working on sustainability issues, and that using OSM might solve some problems for us in terms of um, student projects, students would do projects in the GIS software, and then within a year or two, um, all of that data would be lost, <laughs> um, not archived well, um, not accessible to other people because nobody under, you know, besides the, the GIS trained students understood any of that. And so OSM seemed like a, an accessible way to do some, um, to do some mapping and to teach novice folks how to uh, map things. And um, so I started out, um, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit here. Hold on. Um, we started out, and oh, and also thanks very much to um, one of my students, Grace, uh, Novi, who's presenting later, I'm having trouble. Here we go. Um, she has done a ton of of mapping around Wisconsin, um, including a lot of mapping of all the University of Wisconsin campuses. Um, she's way more of an OSM expert than I am, and she's presenting tomorrow. Um, but so one of the things we started out doing what, uh, a few years ago was mapping where all the parking, the bike parking was around campus and the bike lockers. And I did that with a group, a small group of students, and we um, used uh, the field papers um, tool as a way for, the, for them. Um, they were freshmen. They had never um, used OSM or done any geospatial mapping stuff before. So I showed them how to use field papers and how to do basic editing in OSM. Um, and they might mapped out all of the um, bike lockers and, and bike um, parking around campus. And then um, more recently, I got interested in um, having a, a more in-depth project um, mapping bike trails and um, the ways around uh, our campus and around our community. And I got on um, the Slack here for, um, for the, in the bicycle channel and asked some nice folks to tell me more about how to go about mapping um, bike lanes and bike trails and all of that around 
our town and I got some great resources. Um, this uh, GitHub page uh, by Bike Ottawa has a great number of, uh, or a great schema for tagging um, and how to map uh, bike infrastructure. And then also um, the city of Boulder um, has really, really extensive um, bike mapping. So we use that as an example. Um, and so I had students working on mapping um, all of the trails and um, paths through campus and also um, around our community. And I found also that it, um, it helped also to teach some geospatial concepts that otherwise it, um, are a little bit hard to teach because you know you can talk about topology and relationships between things um, and you can teach uh, labs about that but unless you're actually in, um, interacting with a community um, where that data where there are some existing um, ways of mapping relationships like mapping roots and um, that kind of thing, it, students have trouble really understanding the importance of that. Um, and so, yeah, so I learned a lot from this uh, process. We're not totally done with it. If you go here, the goal really is to have on the um, UW Stout um, sustainability pages is to have some OSM maps showing um, some really great uh, bike infrastructure around our town. We don't have quite that. It's not embedded yet into the web page. Um, but I think it's a really great resource for folks like me who are at small campuses and don't have a lot of geospatial um, expertise around us to help our students um, learn. And um, uh, yeah, so like there's not there's not a planner for our campus that knows geospatial and mapping stuff, and there's not even really one for the city. So, um, so I'm really hoping that this also helps our city and county with their bike and transportation mapping, and we're gonna try to tackle other sustainability related topics um, in the future. So, uh, thanks very much, and uh, I'll stop sharing my screen.